everyone. Welcome to Soul Song Saturday. I'm Heather Lynn. I would love to see you in the chat. Thank you for being here for our Earth Day weekend celebration. Thank you for joining us for music, mindfulness practices, and uh, some mystical musings. Excited to chat with you today, be in conversation about interbeing with all of nature. Good morning, Doug, Carl, Paul. Thank you for saying hi. Please feel free to like and share. We're going to kick this off this morning with Joni Mitchell's Big Yellow Taxi. Sing along if you know it. They paved paradise, put up a parking lot With a pink hotel, a boutique, and a swinging hot spot Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone They paved paradise, put up a parking lot Charge the people a dollar and a half just to see it. Mm. Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you've got till it's gone. They paved paradise, put up a parking lot. If I'm a put away the DDT now. Spots on my apples and leave me the birds and the breeze. Please don't it always seem to go. You don't know what you've got till it's gone. They pay paradise, put up a fucking Welcome again, everyone, whether you're watching during the live time or the playback. So happy you're here for Soul Song Saturday and our Earth Day special, Earth Day weekend celebration. We give thanks to Mama Earth for all her nourishment and goodness to us, sustaining us, carrying along in this life, right? Um, it's pretty remarkable, this gift of life, this miracle that we experience together. So, hey, I want to acknowledge everyone in the chat. If you are here and you have not yet said hello, I would love, love, love to see you in the chat. I love to see your little faces and see your names. And um, please do that if you're watching live or if you're watching on the playback. So good morning, Doug, from a sunny yet chilly southwest Indiana. Got it. You know what? Here in Colorado, 
It is um, what I call a bright cold because um, the, it snowed like a lot last night. So everything is covered in a blanket of white snow today. Uh, Carl, Maine is in the house. Yes, good to see you. Hey, Maine is my home state too also. It is always so fun for me to see Carl here. And good morning, Paul. And uh, and please welcome to the stage, Ms. Heather Lynn. <laughs> that is delightful, Paul. Thank you. And David, thanks to you as well. Thanks. Oh, thanks to Mama Earth. Thank you to this planet. Yes, indeed. Nice. Well done with the emoji there. Um, I like it all when you play with your emojis and chat with one another. It's very sweet. Let me know if you're enjoying a nice beverage. I've got my coffee in one mug. I've got my licorice tea for my throat in another mug. Every Soul Song Saturday, we begin... Uh, with our first movement of mindfulness, a practice of presence, our invocation of presence. Really, this is for you and for me uh, to invoke, to arrive here and now in this present moment. And if you have three candles where you are and you want to light some candles, that would be cool. Or put a candle emoji in the chat. Or maybe there's some other signifier of three that you would like to use at home. You can tell us about it in the chat. We'd love to hear how you're participating in this uh, ritual together. And uh, good morning, Rashida. Hope everybody's doing good. And Mandy will be watching the playback. Wonderful. Love that. I'm so grateful that you all are checking in. And, um, and oh, by the way, before we light our first candle, I wanted to mention we intended to launch my new Live with Heatherland YouTube channel this morning. And there were a few steps that we kind of missed along the way. So that will be next week. Next week, we will be live on Facebook, usual place, Twitch, usual place. And we'll be moving over to the youtube.com slash at live with Heatherland channel. But I think this morning we're on the Heatherland music channel still, yes? We're somewhere. So, we're somewhere, somewhere. So, so happy you found us. So happy you're here. Thank you for bearing with us as we uh, continue to refine and streamline this whole thing that we're doing. All right, now for our invocation of presence, yes? Let's take a deep breath, arriving here, maybe even sit or stand a little taller if you're able to, giving your body room to breathe in the oxygen, this gift of life. And we do light this first candle for the gift of life itself, for the soul song that hums and reverberates through every living thing. And this is the universal presence we are all connected to and interconnected through. The Energy Center, Center for Universal Presence is located at the very tippy top of your head, the crown chakra, some call it. So go ahead, if you want to, go ahead and touch the top of your head. And maybe as you breathe in again, lift your head into the top of your hand. And we recognize that we are interconnected. We experience interbeing with one another. The illusion of separation is an illusion. And so breathing, recognizing the essence of existence, moving active in each of our bodies and interconnecting us to this planet. The butterflies that swirl around, the bees, the snow that falls, all the things. Maybe you've got some, maybe you've got some examples of things you feel connected to this morning. Lighting our second candle and taking a deep breath, honoring the beings and helping elementals in, in your cosmology. So if you want to honor in this time and recognize the presence of your ancestors, their wisdom in your very DNA. Perhaps you believe in spirit guides or guardian angels. This candle is also representative of all those on our hearts this morning, perhaps those we've sent on their way into the next dimension. Uh, I'm thinking of one particular friend here this morning, um, carrying you in our hearts, you and your family, as you've sent on a father in your family. And 
Perhaps there's others who remain on this physical plane who are on your heart this morning, and you're welcome to mention them in the chat if you'd like to share their first name. We lift them up together. And let's go ahead and also take a deep breath for Mama Earth, for this planet, and just really anything that makes you feel connected to nature this morning. And maybe you'd like to mention those in the chat or jot them in your journal this morning. How do you feel interconnected to all of nature? Is there a favorite animal or flower or tree or plant? Is there a favorite mountain range or ocean that makes you feel interconnected and present to this reality of interbeing with all of nature? Taking a moment to acknowledge that gift of presence and interbeing. Breathing in, visualizing those beautiful things that make you feel interconnected. Giving thanks. And then lighting our third candle. This one, my friend, is for you. Your heart, mind, and being, the whole of you embodied here and now, breathed with the essence of existence humming and vibrating with this gift of life. You, every cell, every, every fiber of your being dancing to this hum of life. Let's go ahead and take a moment to breathe. We already kind of noted a little bit of what's on our hearts, but maybe take a moment to recognize the pulse of your heartbeat. This is an element of your soul song. What is resonating in your heart? What do you hold here? Taking a deep breath, allowing your heart space to be filled and supported with this gift of life. And now taking a deep breath, drawing your awareness to your mind and all that's happening here. Recognize the quality of your thoughts this morning, not in a judgmental way, but in an observant and as a compassionate witness. Recognize the quality of your thoughts this morning and the energy that they're creating for you. Again, simply stepping back as a compassionate witness, not judging them, just noticing them. And maybe taking a moment to jot them down if you need to or want to. And then... Take a deep breath for your embodiment here this morning. This is a holistic practice of presence, recognizing everything, the interconnection of you, heart, mind, body, spirit. I believe we're all spiritual because we all have an energy and vibration, right? We all have presence. We all are showing up to this life, and so we are all spiritual. We are all embodied. And we come together to remember how to live wholeheartedly in this world, yes? So as we are here for the Soul Song Saturday Earth Day celebration, let's go ahead and rub our hands together, noticing the feeling of your skin, noticing the sort of clay-like quality, and recognizing that connection to the earth. We are made of dust, breathe to life, and we will return to the dust one day. So just going ahead and noticing how your skin feels and recognizing the earth-like quality it has. And then as you rub your hands together, notice the heat that forms there and how you are also fire. There is passion in you, and a lot of times we recognize fire in the solar plexus or the, or the belly region, so going ahead and breathing and filling the belly, and then drawing the navel to the spine and recognizing the fire that you have in your belly, the passion that you hold and carry there. Taking a deep breath. Ah... So we recognize connection to the elements of the earth, the element of fire, and then, of course, breathing in deeply, we recognize our interconnection to oxygen, to air, to wind, to spirit. We are inextricably linked to these elements. 
even go ahead and notice what it's like to move your eyes back and forth for a moment and how you couldn't do that without water in your body. We are made of so much water. So breathing deeply, arriving here and now, heart, mind, body, spirit, earth, fire, wind, and what was the last one? Water. Water is the last one. <laughs> Continuing to breathe deeply, friends. I'd like to share with you my song, Another Sunset. Wanting to acknowledge Teresa and Liam here this morning. Thank you for finding us. Yes, we are in the process, apparently, of launching the new Live with Heather Lynn YouTube channel. And uh, that will be established this coming week for sure. Had some technical difficulties with it, but glad you found us, Liam. Thank you. Y'all, if you're watching here during the live time or playback at your convenience, please say hello in the chat. We love to know you're here. We love to be in conversation with you. It means a lot to us. Your presence does. So thank you for sharing yours with us. If you know this song, sing along where you are. And uh, patrons, you got a goodie in your, <laughs> in your patron account last night. A solo acoustic download of Another Sunset. This song is a reclamation of believing it is truly good to be alive. So go ahead and visualize these lyrics as I sing this song. Another sunset and another sunrise Each and every one is its own surprise I believe it's good to be alive All the wonders of this world, every glory unfurled Take a minute and go outside Yeah, yeah, take a minute and go outside Walking down the sidewalk sunny spring day you see all the people we're all trying to find our way mamas with their children a few dogs with their humans sending out some good vibrations make the world a kinder place for another sunset and another sunrise each and every one is its own surprise i believe good to be alive. All the wonders of this world, every glory unfurled. Take a minute and go outside. Yeah, yeah. Take a minute and go outside. Listen to the children laughing, playing in the streets. Recreate the whole world. So every child is this safe and free Music maker on the corner Trees and flowers join the chorus Sing us songs of love's redemption Overflowing truth and beauty For another sunset and another sunrise Each and every one is its own surprise I believe it's good to be this world every glory unfurled take a minute and go outside yeah yeah take a minute and go outside outside your house out of your frame of mind being under your culture your regular freezing And another sunrise Each and every one is its own surprise I believe it's good to be alive All the wonders of this world Every glory unfurled Take a minute and 
go outside Yeah, yeah, take a minute and go outside Yeah, another sunset. If you are a patron, I hope you got the digital download, uh, a little a little Earth Day weekend gift for you, friends. Thank you for your support. Uh, we need your support. We couldn't do this without you. So a little gift uh, time to time for you. I hope you enjoy. Jason and I made that this week and wanted to make sure you had it. Um, so thank you, Doug Dooley, uh, for your compliment. I'm glad you like this song. And then... Uh, Liam, outside my house, the wild turkeys are talking to each other. Oh my goodness. It's like they're singing some songs this morning. Love that, Liam. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, my friends. Thank you again for being here for Soul Song Saturday for our Earth Day weekend celebration. Of course, happy 420 as well if you celebrate. And as we move into our next movement of mindfulness, our next practice of presence as we, as we do every week, we remember story dwelling is, uh, is it's my word uh, that I kind of made up. It's my word for cultivating courageous, compassionate curiosity for ourselves and one another, recognizing the shaping nature of narrative. So we love to invite you into this practice of story dwelling together every week. We can think about ways that we encountered stories and the stories that dwell in us, the stories that are all around us and how they are shaping our lives. The more we get conscious about it, the more we can be writing the stories that we want to be writing with our lives. Yes? Mm -hmm. One of the tools that we use uh, if you so choose, of course, it's, a, it's simply an invitation and offering, but our cosmic calendar, we check in. I make a new one of these every month so that we can be mindful of the uh, sacred rhythms around us, whether it's astrological rhythms with the moon um, and the planets, or if it's sacred observances, our neighbors may be observing whether they are part of the Buddhist tradition, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, Sikh, uh, whatever it might be. I don't, I obviously can't get all of it in there, but I always do some research each month and put some of those in there. There's also, of course, uh, things like Earth Day uh, and things like Autism Awareness Day, World Health Day. And so uh, this is also National Poetry Month. It's also Sexual Assault Awareness Month, which I'll address a little bit more in next week's Soul Song Saturday. But wondering, did any of you take me up on the curiosity or kindness challenge this week? Um, if you didn't do it this week, maybe you want to do it this coming week. Simply, this is to select one event on the cosmic calendar and uh, learn more about it. So that would be taking us up on the curiosity challenge, um, learning something more maybe about a sacred observance that a neighbor of yours does. So learning more about a Buddhist sacred observance or, um, or, or something like that. Um, or choosing one to uh, take us up on a kindness challenge. So very simply, this week, it, you could do, um, you could just pick Earth Day if you want to, learn something more about our interconnection with the Earth, research a little bit, report back, share, share about it within the comment section next week if you want to, and or maybe do something kind for yourself or for the Earth or for a neighbor, um, and then report that back. So did anybody take us up on that this week? Or is it just kind of getting into our conscious awareness as a community? That's okay, too. It's a new thing that we just kind of rolled out last week. So, mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. I have Egyptian licorice tea in my story dwelling mug, you all. It's so delicious. It's so soothing on the throat. <laughs> Are you enjoying an ice beverage this morning? Want to say hello to Mandy. Glad you found us. Good morning, good morning. So this morning for our story dwelling segment, I wanted to share with you 
uh, three tips for experiencing more interbeing with nature. And so I'd like to share with you first my song, One Heart. And there's a beautiful quote from Chief Seattle uh, that I love to share whenever I share this song. He says, humankind has not woven the web of life. We are but one thread within it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. All things are bound together. All things connect. And we do around here in the Heatherland music world. We believe that we are interconnected for better or for worse. And so we are always seeking to choose the better as much as possible. Yes, I think that's why a lot of you are here, because you believe that too and are wanting to live with that intention of choosing the better. Perhaps you have another intention for your time here this morning. If you'd like to share that in the chat, we'd love to hear. If you know this song, sing along. It's one heart. My friends, want to check in with you all in the chat. If you haven't said hello yet, please say hi. Again, whether, whether lifetime or playback, love to know you're here. And uh, please like and share this video as well. So um, Paul is sipping some coffee. Cheers to that. Love my coffee, my friend. Getting ready for work. Love it. And, uh, and Liam, I don't know if I, okay, I and I-inity. 
Cool. It seems like, is this a, a word play on the word unity? Um, or is that the name of a beverage you're, uh, you're drinking? I love it. Beautiful. Okay. How about three tips for leaning into, living into the reality of our interbeing with all of life, with nature itself? I have three G's for you this morning. Uh, grounding, gratitude, and gazing. And, uh, and Jason's going to pull them up for I you. Know, just, yeah, no worries. It's all good. It's, it's one of we, neither of us got a whole lot of sleep last night. We, w- we went to a, um, an open mic where I was featured artist, and it was so fun. Um, but always after things like that, um, I, uh, I, I, it's hard for me to get to sleep. And then Jason stayed up, like, create, you know, tweaking these graphics for you and for us and... All those things. So anyway, here are three ways to live more connected to the earth or to realize um, the truth of our connection to the earth. So number one is grounding. I'm curious, tell me in the chat, have any of you, uh, have any of you done this before, this act of grounding? Or maybe you've done it and not realized it. It's also called earthing. Take off your shoes, take off your, knock off your sandals, take off your socks, put your bare feet on the bare ground and notice what that feels like. I would highly encourage you to do this this week if you're able to, especially perhaps on Earth Day. Um, Try it out and see how it feels. When I do this, sometimes it's just my feet, sometimes it's my entire, I just kind of lie down in the grass. Um... It feels so nourishing to every cell in my body. It feels restorative. It feels peaceful. It feels grounding. You know, like when we talk about centering and grounding for the week ahead that we do together in Soul Song Saturday, the earth feels so supportive of this. I want to recommend to you a documentary called Earthing Earthing, um, that I watched this week. You can find it on YouTube and watch it for free. And it talks about the science behind what actually happens to our bodies when we make this intentional connection to the ground. It can improve our health, our immunity. It supports the bodies in so many ways. There's even a story of a woman who was struggling with health issues because she is partly paralyzed. And this um, actually grounding, touching her feet to the earth, um, remedied a lot and has improved her life significantly. So number one is grounding. Our second G is gratitude um, slash nature walk. So... I would love to invite you, maybe you already do this, tell me if you do this, if you like to go for walks and if you can do it in a place that, I. so Jason and I live um, in the the northern part of Denver and it's a little bit suburban-y, but there's some parts of the walk that can feel like a nature walk to me and I just love it. Um, And so this was a photograph that I took one evening, one summer evening, Um, and I just love these sunflowers. And so, um, as you go, just, you know, I want to encourage you to observe the aspects of nature around you and really take time to breathe them in and give gratitude, um, as you're doing that. So let me know if you do this, if you love it, um, what you love about it. And then, um, maybe if you, if you choose to do this this week, Um, to feel more connected to Mama Earth, uh, report back, all right? Our third uh, G is gazing. I was trying to think of a G word for, um, for cloud watching, actually. So gazing at the sky. Um, You know, this is something that I did when I was a kid. And I remember actually doing this one day a few years ago. And I realized I hadn't done it much since having a smartphone because I don't, you know, I don't know if it's like this for you, but so often I might just like pick up my phone to scroll. Um, and I, and I realized that that had kind of taken the place of just observe, observing things around me of just like looking up at the sky. And so I want to encourage you to take time this week or any time 
uh, to just watch the clouds again um, and maybe do it with a friend, maybe do it with your partner and, um, and just uh, allow, your, allow your imagination to connect to the, the clouds and kind of share what you see, what formations, what images, if it looks like a face or a horse or, um, you know, an, an animal or something like that. Um, I just want to encourage you to do that. So those are our three G's that I'm offering today. Three ways to live more connected to the earth. We have grounding, actually putting your bare feet on the ground. We have gratitude, going for a nature walk. Maybe even bonus points, take some photographs of nature in gratitude. And then gazing, um, spending some time cloud watching or observing nature. So um, you all are talking about, um, oh, I see, I see. So following up to Liam's comment about I and I inity, um, it's a Rasta thing, a play on unity. Yes, okay, awesome, love that. Thank you for bringing that to our attention this morning. And then Doug speaking of the movie One Love, which I absolutely want to see. And, um, and I did watch the movie One Love last night. Liam is saying... Uh, and that phrase, I and I have been prevalent in the Rasta culture for a very long time. I hadn't heard it explained that way before in the movie. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to, I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much for this. And then Teresa sharing grounded in gratitude in nature on the hiking trails in Arizona. Yes, I have seen some of your photographs, Teresa. And, um, and I know that you just, you bring the wonder of life um, to us and that, and that is such a gift that you bring in your presence and you're walking in this world in wonder I love that thank you so much mm -hmm. thank you so much for story dwelling with the, me this morning considering the story of nature that we dwell in how we participate in creating this story together how we be a blessing to all living beings as we walk upon this earth, yes? How do we do this? Um, considering the story that we're creating as we are stewards of this earth, as we receive the gifts of Mama Earth with gratitude and seek to participate in her healing and ecology justice and... Um, and before we move into our musical apothecary segment, I'll go ahead and acknowledge Paul is on Facebook on the way to work. So we're sending Paul off to work together today, you all. So wishing you well, Paul. Thank you so much for your presence here on a regular basis. And then Liam is sharing, years ago I searched YouTube for Bob Marley Live and there was precious little so I searched again yesterday and there are several full concerts now it made me so happy yes I love that certainly we are um, also celebrating 420 today and so I love this interconnection um, thank you Liam as we move into our musical apothecary segment, a reminder that this is usually a breath practice or a musical mantra or a meditation that we do together or some combination. So this morning I'm bringing to you my version of the ancient, ancient, ancient Sanskrit blessing uh, called the Loka. The Sanskrit language is really special, y'all, because the words themselves carry the vibration of their intention. So it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's a pretty powerful language and ancient. So the word om is the primordial sound of creation, the universe, all of life. And it actually is pronounced with three sounds. Um, Oh, awesome. Uh, wanting to say hi to, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, my friend, but watching from the Philippines and it's past midnight there. I'm so happy you joined us. I recognize you from Envision live streams. <coughs> so thank you so much for joining us. 
uh, from the Philippines. That's awesome. Back to Om, my friends. This is part of the song. Om Shanti Om. Om is pronounced with an A U M. It's Aum. All right. So if you'd like to pronounce this together, try it. Breathing in and on your exhale. Aum. Jason's doing it over here. He's raising his arms up, stretching out, inhaling, and then exhale. Aum. Beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. The word shanti is peace. And so shanti carries the vibration, the vibrational energies of peace. So om shanti om is part of this. Go ahead and try that where you are. Aum shanti om. Breathing. through all my friends. Welcome again to Soul Song Saturday. 
our Earth Day weekend celebration. Share with us in the chat, if you will, certainly first your presence. Let us know you're here. If you haven't yet, say hello. Please like this video. Please share this video. Please subscribe to uh, whichever channel you're on. Even if you're on Facebook, please subscribe to the YouTube channels. That is really a help and a support. Um, if you would like to share uh, what you love about this planet, what you love about nature, your gratitudes for Mother Earth, uh, share like your favorite tree, your favorite mountain range, your favorite ocean, your favorite flower or animal, whatever it might be, please, um, or just a, a favorite place, your favorite spot to be in nature. Um, we'd love to hear that. Or perhaps you'd like to share um, ways that you would like to be about the healing and reharmonization of our earth, bringing back equality, eco-justice, um, and then RCJ Juan saying, fitting for today and tomorrow, the days of manifestation. May it be, yes, may we be about the healing and justice of the earth, yes, and the interconnection of all of it. Um, justice for the earth is justice for humanity and vice versa. Healing and restorative justice for one people group is that for another people group. We are nature itself. And so we give thanks today, yes? <clears throat> and Carl, thank you for making a donation to help fund the trip to Palestine. I appreciate you so much. Well, I'll share more about that trip in a moment, you all. I'm really delighted to share that with you. That is certainly a matter of echo justice um, because any kind of war or devastation impacts Mother Earth. I'm sure she's grieving uh, with the people of Gaza even now. And uh, so I'll tell you more about that shortly. But thank you so much, Carl. Appreciate you. And thank you, Dan, for arriving here just in time for our gratitude practice Every week for Soul Song Saturday, we give thanks together. So please feel free to share in the chat anything you're grateful for, anything that brings you deep appreciation for this life from the week before or something you're looking forward to in the week ahead. I want to, obviously, we can emphasize this morning elements of nature that we are so grateful for, whether it's the tree outside that you love, whether it's the birds who come to your window, who visit you and you say hello to them, if it's the flowers in your garden, Perhaps you'd like to chat with us and share together those things you're grateful for. It is 420 today. I am personally, honestly, very grateful for that gift of cannabis from Mother Earth. Uh, it does bring healing to me. It allows me to sleep at night uh, with my neurodiverse brain. I've struggled with insomnia my entire life, and um, cannabis is a gift that helps me actually get restorative rest and and then in turn allows me to function. Uh, so, uh, yes. I would like to share with you four, please share your gratitudes as I do this song. Um, and I'll name them throughout the song as I'm able to. Uh, but I've taken this hymn that I learned from church for the beauty of the earth, and I've made it an interspiritual hymn for us because this space is one. We, we want you to feel like you're welcome and we can practice these beautiful uh, spiritual practices together no matter what our path is whatever journey we are on uh, so this is for the beauty of the earth my rendition of this old hymn for the beauty Source of all to you. 
uh, showing gratitude to my cousin for all the help she gave my parents over the past several years by house and dog sitting for her the next five to six days. I love the reciprocal nature, the, uh, the acts of gratitude there, Doug. Thank you for sharing that with us. You all keep sharing your gratitudes. Here's verse two. For the many good and beautiful gifts of Mother Nature, of the skies and the seas, of the earth, uh, the healing energies of the ground, uh, those energetic, those healing qualities coming up through our bare feet, the beauty that can enter our eyes and nourish our hearts and our souls. Grateful for each and every one of you being here this morning. Grateful for each and every one of you supporting us. We do need your support, my friends. We need it and we love it. And we're so grateful that you are a part of this, the vibrant movement of this music and artistry, soul nourishment in a world that is sometimes so chaotic and scary. Am I right? <laughs> Thank you for being part of this, friends, whether through your one-time gifts, utilizing Venmo or PayPal. You can see it there on the screen, Venmo at Heatherland Music, paypal.me slash Heatherland Music, or please consider joining our Patreon community starting at $5 a month, but whatever works for you. Um, thank you so much. Many of you patrons are here. 
Um, if you have not become a patron, please do so. We have some goodies. I, I just put a goodie in your patron account uh, last night. We did a digital download, a solo acoustic recording of my song, Another Sunset, which I performed earlier in the show. If you didn't catch it, play it back. Uh, thank you for connecting through Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Please subscribe to uh, all of it uh, because that is a, a way that you can support without money. And of course, we understand if you feel broke and can't support financially, you can support by connecting, sharing, or maybe you'd like to purchase one of our homemade, uh, well, I mean, it's my original design, right? My unique designs. This is the album art for the Story Dwelling uh, album. We now have a, a mug, a journal, and a tote bag. And on, on the, each side, there's the art. And then there's a reminder of what the practice is to invite you into Story Dwelling on a regular basis if it's a practice that's meaningful to you. So do check those out on my print-on-demand site, my online store. You can get Heatherland's Musical Apothecary products as well, as well as some other original digital designs. Uh, I love to see when you all partake of this. Um, it's an honor to me. I feel so delighted every time you order a t-shirt and decide to wear one of my designs or put one on your wall or, gosh, we have some, some of the mantras from my lyrics. Choose courageously, hope defiantly, love outrageously um, on all kinds of things, including echo conscious products like this biodegradable phone cover. Uh, there's also recycled T-shirts you can choose from at the site. So please do check that out. Enjoy yourselves. Um, even if you just want to go look at it, um, there's gifts, there's onesies for babies. So if you need a baby shower gift, all kinds of goodies on there to partake of and enjoy. Um, so thank you so much for your support, my friends. Uh, Carl mentioned uh, that coming up is a trip to Palestine. I am going, I am planning to join a storyteller's delegation of filmmakers, musicians. Um, we're all artists, we're all creatives, and we want to basically... Uh, do story dwelling. I don't know. I haven't shared with, I haven't, I've only met one or two people in this group, so they don't know about my word and my value of story dwelling, but I am going on this trip. I accepted the invitation to go on the trip because of my value of story dwelling, cultivating courageous, compassionate curiosity for ourselves and one another, recognizing the shaping nature of narrative. And of course, those narratives can be geopolitical. They can be religious and so I'm planning to go to Palestine next month uh, with this incredible delegation of humans. Look at them, they're amazing. I'm already, I'm so excited to go on this journey with them. Um, and we do need your support to do so. Um, most of us as creatives rely on community support. So um, what we plan to do is to go listen to stories. We go, we plan to share with you through our art forms what we see and what we hear. We are going to simply bear witness to be among the people of Palestine, to hear their experiences of occupation and what that's like for them, um, to share their stories with you and their reflections on kind of the, the larger geopolitical narratives and religious narratives that are there. So would welcome your support, appreciate your support. Thank you for considering being a part of that with us. Um, Jason, is there anything else I need to mention before we go to our closing, our sending blessing? Okay, Jason's got something he's pulling up. I can't remember everything all the time. Oh, yes, of course. So you all, Jason and I, have an, we are in a very interesting season of life, and it's a wonderful, exciting season of life. It's also a season of great uncertainty, and we really do need your support through Patreon, and we need to, our, your bookings as well. So booking concerts and artists in residencies, Zoom sessions even. Um, please check out the heatherlandmusic.com slash contact. Maybe your place of business would like to hire me to zoom in and do a meditation session with you. Uh, maybe you have a church community who would like to fly us out to produce a concert or do um, a special event with your community. Um, we no longer have our van. Sometimes people have said, you know, let us know when, when you're coming our way, but really we need you to bring us to you. 
Um, we need you to fly us out. Um, that's the way we're traveling, and we are available to travel. We are available to Zoom to you. We're available to travel to you. We would love to come see you. Um, so get us booked on your calendar. We'd love to have you booked on our calendar. And, um, and thank you so much. Uh, it is the grassroots movement of the music that keeps us going. Uh, Paul, I love that you are going to be streaming our stuff at some point this week. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay, y'all, if you haven't liked the video, please like it. If you haven't shared it, please share it. Um, if you uh, joined us halfway through, be sure to, um, to watch back from the top if you'd like to. Um, and please plan to join us again next week. Um, the new channel should be going next week. We, uh, we started the new channel where we want to... The, the thought behind this is now the youtube.com slash Heatherland Music will be all of my original and cover music. It'll be music. And then the youtube.com slash at live with Heather Lynn YouTube channel. Please subscribe to that and plan to tune in there next week because we meant to launch it today, but we had to figure out some live streaming permissions and things like that that we weren't aware of. So um, next week we will be live at youtube.com slash at live with Heather Lynn. We'd love for you to join us there. That's where I'm going to share more of my mystical musings, my mindfulness practices, my reflections on wisdom teachings and uh, tips for mindfulness, living mindfully, and really like designing your own life with consciousness, playfulness, and deeply in love. Speaking of, let's go and live love this week, yes? Let's go be in love uh, with this life and with nature. I look forward to hearing back from you if you take us up on the curiosity and kindness challenges and what you do, how you celebrate Earth Day. And then, Jason, do we have our sending blessing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll share this on socials uh, later. I wrote this last minute, so my sending blessing for you all this week is this. May your interbeing with nature be evident to you in delightful ways. May you relish the healing of the ground your feet walk upon and savor the delicious nourishment Mama Earth provides. May the gratitude these gifts inspire nourish your entire being as you discern your place, your beautiful belonging in the interconnection of all things, and participate in the healing of our planet. Yes, peace, love, and light, Doug. Thank you so much. And we will see you back here next week uh, for more new material. And uh, I want to send you out with this great cover by Jack Johnson and Ben Harper with my own two hands. Thank you. Love you all, Paul says. See you all next week. Yes. can change the world with my own two hands make it a better place with my own two hands make it a kinder place with my own two hands with my own with my own two hands I can make peace on earth 
everyone. Love you so much. Appreciate your presence. See you back again next week for Women's Rights or Human Rights. I'll be debuting new songs about the racism and sexism of purity culture and exposing the so-called pro-life propaganda of the religious right from my personal story and songs I have written. Please join us on that new YouTube channel. Check your time zone for the live time, and I cannot wait to spend some more time with you again. See you soon. Peace and love and all the good stuff.